In a world racing towards clean energy, we're often caught in the allure of wind turbines turning gracefully and solar panels basking in sunlight. But are we seeing the full picture? Hold on to your hats, because we're about to peel back the layers of renewable energy. Let's set our sights on the spinning giants of the renewable world, wind turbines. Towering majestically above the landscape, these turbines, often reaching heights of over 200 feet, capture the Earth's breath to power our cities. But here's the twist. Those enormous blades, sometimes spanning the wingspan of a jumbo jet, don't last forever. In fact, by 2023, we're expecting about 50,000 metric tons of blade waste globally, and this number is set to quadruple by the end of the decade. And guess what? Many of these blades end up underground. You see, the composite materials making up these blades, primarily fiberglass, pose serious recycling challenges. While we're busy applauding the green revolution, a less talked about issue is our planet's ground slowly becoming a resting place for old, non-degradable blades. In Europe alone, we're looking at 25,000 tonnes of waste from wind turbine blades each year by 2025, and with the global wind energy capacity expected to grow over 60% in the next five years, these numbers are only set to rise. But all hope is not lost. Pioneers around the world are seeking innovative ways to recycle, repurpose, and reimagine the turbine's life cycle. From experiments in grinding the blades into raw material for cement, to crafting bridges and playground equipment from discarded blades, we're in the early innings of a sustainable solution, and the renewable energy game is rapidly evolving. Let's delve into the sun-soaked world of solar. Imagine vast fields adorned with glistening panels, soaking up rays and silently powering our lives. The beauty is undeniable, but like every masterpiece, there's more than meets the eye. Every solar panel embarks on a journey, one that typically lasts around 25 to 30 years. But what happens when the sun sets on their productive lives? Now, it's crucial to understand that solar panels aren't just chunks of metal and glass. They're complex constructs with layers of materials, both benign and hazardous. While the majority of the materials in solar panels, such as silicon, silver and aluminium, can be reclaimed, some panels contain traces of toxic elements, including cadmium, a known carcinogen. But here's the silver lining. Thanks to advancements in recycling technology, up to 96% of some materials in solar panels can be recaptured and repurposed. Think of it like a treasure hunt, where discarded panels become reservoirs of valuable materials waiting to be mined. However, it's the challenges posed by toxic elements like cadmium that make the recycling process intricate. Now let's put things into perspective. As of now, solar energy provides about 3% of global electricity. But hold on to your hats, because by 2050, we're looking at solar potentially becoming the world's largest source of electricity. This meteoric rise means an equivalent surge in the number of panels reaching the end of their life, with estimates suggesting the global PV panel waste could reach 78 million tonnes by 2050. While the figures sound daunting, the industry is not sitting idle. Research is in overdrive, with scientists and engineers exploring eco-friendlier methods and innovative ways to extend the life of panels or give them a second life altogether. The future, it seems, is as bright as the midday sun. Diving deeper now into the electrifying world of batteries. They're omnipresent, in our pockets as smartphones, powering our homes, and driving our electric vehicles. But let's journey through the life of a battery. First, there's the raw material extraction, which is quite an energy-intensive process. Here, elements like lithium, cobalt, and nickel are mined from the earth, sometimes with significant environmental impacts and ethical concerns about the mining practices. After assembly, these batteries find their way into various products, offering lifespans that vary significantly. For instance, the battery in your smartphone might last 3 to 5 years, while electric vehicle batteries can keep going for 8 to 15 years, or even longer. However, as they age, their capacity and efficiency reduce, leading to a need for replacement. Now, consider this. There are already millions of EVs on the roads, and with projections suggesting over 140 million EVs worldwide by 2030, we're looking at a colossal number of batteries reaching the end of their life around the same time. So, where do these old batteries go? Historically, the fate of exhausted batteries wasn't always eco-friendly. However, the tide is turning. Many batteries, like the old-timer lead-acid ones, boast a recycling rate of over 99% in countries like the US. As for the more modern lithium-ion batteries? While early recycling methods were challenging, rapid advancements in technology are changing the game. Today, over 50% of a lithium-ion battery can be directly recycled, and this number is steadily climbing. Indeed, with tech giants, researchers, and innovators tirelessly working on refining battery designs and their recycling methods, the dream is to develop batteries that deliver powerful performance without leaving an environmental dent. The future promises batteries that pack a punch without the environmental pinch. Let's zoom in on a crucial player in the battery realm, 
the electric vehicle battery. These aren't just your typical AA batteries, they're massive, complex structures designed to hold enormous amounts of energy. The most popular among them, lithium-ion batteries, have revolutionized the automotive industry. As of 2021, approximately 10 million electric cars were on the world's roads, a number expected to surge past 145 million by 2030, according to the International Energy Agency. The average lifespan of an EV battery is about 8 to 15 years, depending on usage and other factors. While this seems long in terms of a product life, think about it this way, an EV bought in 2025 might need its battery replaced by 2040, with millions of EVs soon to be a common sight. A tidal wave of used batteries is on the horizon. As these batteries degrade, they lose their ability to hold a charge, but they're not entirely useless. Many find a second life in energy storage systems or as backup power sources, but ultimately they reach a point of no return. Disposal then becomes a challenge. EV batteries are bulky, heavy, and filled with materials that could be harmful to the environment if not handled correctly. But it's not all doom and gloom. Innovations in recycling methods mean that over 90% of an EV battery's components can potentially be recovered and reused. Furthermore, companies are investing heavily in closed-loop systems, aiming to reuse old batteries' materials to produce new ones. However, the elephant in the room remains as the entire global car fleet, which is currently at over a billion vehicles, starts transitioning to electric, what are we going to do with all those spent batteries? Are our recycling infrastructures prepared for this onslaught? Can we find ways to extend the life of these batteries or repurpose them effectively? The switch to EVs is undoubtedly an eco-positive move, but it brings forth challenges that we must confront head-on if we aim for a truly sustainable future. Alright eco-warriors, our whirlwind tour of the hidden costs of renewable energy comes to an end. It's a journey with highs, lows, twists and turns, but with every challenge comes innovation. As we gear up for a cleaner world, remember, knowledge is power, and you, dear viewer, are now supercharged. Stay energized and hit that subscribe button for more behind-the-scenes dives into our planet's future. Together, we're lighting up the path to a brighter tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.